Hi everyone, welcome to this beginner surface modeling tutorial. And in this tutorial you will learn how you can create this kind of beautiful designs to smooth organic round shapes. And why should this be interesting for you? Well, if you don't have design details like that, then it just looks like that, right? So very boring. And why I'm showing you this uh, exercise here is because those techniques and workflows that I will show you here in this tutorial, you can use universally for many, many different things. For example, also this helmet from my helmet design course, first link below this video if you want to check that out. You have also this kind of design detail. So you see you have smooth round shapes and then you have this hard cut but with a smooth transition into the inside. And yeah, this is only possible with a technique called surface modeling and plasticity. And this course, first link below this video, you will also get a free bonus course where you will learn all of the fundamentals and basics about surface modeling, what all the terms means, how to set up curves, faces, so you can create beautiful patches and lofts and all that kind of stuff. So everything is included in this course here, but let's dive in into this tutorial. So to keep things simple, we will use some reference. Also, you will find them, you can just download them and guys do that. Don't just watch this tutorial, you will learn zero. You have to follow along. So let's first of all add this uh, front image and just align it here in the middle and bring the bottom also to the bottom line. With G, bring it just to the background, press M, make it opaque so you can see through and front so you always see it a little bit in front of the geometry. And click here the lock icon so you can't select it and it will not disturb you. Perfect. So very simple. Let's start with the right view. And first of all, we just want to create the base, uh, the base circular shapes at the front, uh, at the top and the bottom. So right click, create here a circle. I mean here, but go from, um, from the center circle to the two point circle, because this way you can just snap from here from end to end. And before you snap, press V here, bottom right. So you change the direction you see perfect, right? And also press G and just grab the green arrow and control click to the Z axis. So you are 100% exactly in the middle because this is very important and the same uh, here, but let's go again to the right view. Again, the same two point circle and go from one end to another and again, press V and you have the center circle and this circle will be already in the middle. Perfect. So now, so first what we are doing, we are just establishing the main shape without any details and stuff. So now we need to create some curves here from the front and from the side view of the curves will be the shape of our main shape. And then we will use this and build a cage and then we will loft everything together, right? So let's go here to the right view and very simple. Let's just re recreate here our shape. And I like to use the control point curve and just snap here to one quarter and just create two points and snap again here to the three quarter, go to the right view and press one and now just adjust the points. And as always use as few points as possible to get the, yeah, the highest quality curvature. So you don't have any bumps and stuff if you use too many points and let's do the same here. Control point curve snap. Uh, we'll just use one point and use first of all here, this outer shape. So don't go here to the inside. So follow first this outer shape. All right. So we have something like that, press one and make sure that those endpoints are green. So they are intersecting in the curve. Very important. And let's go here, control point curve and again, snap 
And again, I will just use two points and snap here in the 3D view to this endpoint. Otherwise, it will be somewhere here. And yeah, so again, make sure that the first and the last point are green. And now let's go to the right view and just adjust those points here a little bit. So you see, we're just following the shape from the side. You see, so this looks already much better. And now you can just use this curve and here mirror or press Alt X and just bring it to the other side, press OK, press one, make sure again that everything is green. And now very simple, now we can loft everything together because now you see we have a nice cage kind of and select one by one and press L. And now we have this opening here, but we want to close it. So you have to activate the loop here and now shift and shift to the circles and we have our base form and that's cool. So select all the curves, hide them and perfect. And now I just want to work on one half because yeah, let's maybe start this way, then it makes more sense. So what we want to do is now is we want to create one curve that goes this way and this way. And then we just basically want to delete this whole surface because then we will rebuild it. But this new surface will go a little bit more inside, right? And then we will use this curve to loft it to this edge at the bottom. So we have here G1 continuity, so it, it will get smooth transitioning to, to this surface here. And then we will just extrude a little bit and then we will create a second curve. And then we will cut everything away because we will have here a sheet and this will be too much. So we will cut this away. So we are then just left with this beautiful smooth piece. And then at the end we can loft that. So yeah, pretty simple actually. So let's do that. First create the line shift a and just go. Yeah, I don't know, just somewhere here. And again, control point curve and snap to the end point. And let's drag that out. And again, just adjust the point. So you see, we are just following the shape here. And now we have to select them both because they are now not connected or not joined. So press J for join. So it's just one curve. And now press C and cut into our body. Press OK. And now you see we have this whole piece X, right? You can press X to delete it and select this curve and hide it. And now because we have like a symmetrical object, so at least here from the front, so at least from the front, so I also don't need really those images anymore. And so that's why I want to cut one half away because you will see in a second why, because otherwise it will be very hard to, to get the shape here inside. You see, because you can't just extrude that, we have to do some surface modeling. So go to the front, create the line, shift A and just snap here in the middle, press C and cut into our whole body here and delete the left side and the curve. And we are left with something like that. Perfect. So now go to the right side. And now what I told you, we have to create the curve and yeah, there are two ways. So you can either create, go here to the circle and create a tangent arc and snap here to the edge end point. And then you see, it doesn't matter where you go. It will be always tangent here. So by the way, if you don't know what is tangency, G1 continuity and smoothness. So the, the main buzzwords in, in surface modeling, I have an amazing PDF where I just briefly go over the absolute basics of surface modeling. So you can also check out second link in the description and yeah, always ha have it in front of you. And so you can easier follow along. So create a tangent arc and this arc, you see, it will just go a little bit. Yeah. Somewhere here. So you see, we have this nice tangent curve, but sometimes it's not really working or you can't snap to this point. So in this example, it's not a problem, but if this does not work, then what you can also do is if you select this edge and shift D and 
and you duplicate that because now we have a point here from the from the curve because this way you can create again a control point curve and snap to this point and now you see you can snap to the tangent so it's not just snapping to the y-axis okay in this example it's very close but you see you can snap tangent this is important because now you can just create one point and you see the second point doesn't matter what you do with it it will always stay tangent here so it will be g1 continuity so it will be a smooth connection but yeah let's just create our curve and now very simple we want to create this new su surface right but you can't just loft this way so it maybe looks from this side correct but <laughs> if you would press ok and join it and just select it and alt x and just bring to the other side you see <laughs> it's not exactly what we want so we need tangent information from this curve but we can't get it from the curve we need an edge from a face which gives us the information ah we can use that tangency kind of right so what do i mean by that is if you select this curve and press e for extrude and if you extrude this this way it doesn't matter how far it goes and if because now you have the curve right and you can delete this curve but now you see you have the edge so now it's black so now you have the edge from the surface because this edge if you take this edge and this edge and loft it you see now we have g1 because before that it was g0 so g0 is no tangency no smoothness no continuity not what we want but g1 is smoothness that means that you see everything is smooth here but you see in this example our surface is going a little bit outwards of our main body so what we can do is you see if you press d you can just adjust the tension so now so if you press d and if you increase that then this tangency at this edge and at this bottom edge just goes stronger and that's why you get also here this at some point this sharp like squeezing because the tangency it's like a mountain is created right so through the tectonic plates and stuff but yeah uh, but we want to go to the other way around uh, around so we just want to reduce a little bit the tension in this example so something like that and you see it's still g1 so press ok and now you can also in object mode dele delete this face and now you see if we would mirror this guy over you see now everything is smooth because it was tangent again below this video in the pdf it's a little bit better explained so check that out and now you see we have a little bit too much of this surface so now again we have to cut a little bit away and just use what we need so press shift f or i mean here uh, use control point curve so for me it's shift f shortcut and just create a curve doesn't matter how because if you press one you can adjust the points here a little bit and just start very uh, thin and leave it a little bit of a uh, distance here you will see in a second why and we can just create a nice curve and again select this curve press c and cut into our new face uh, surface press ok and delete this extra piece Del delete this curve delete this curve here and press 4 always important to join everything and now very simple you can just select those two edges press l and also go down here press shift and add here also g1 so press ok again press 4 select everything join and if you select this whole thing and press alt x and bring to the other side and press j you have a pretty nice result and if you like surface modeling and you want to learn more about it and everything what is in the pdf explained in much more detail because in the course also in the first link in below this video where you will learn this helmet how to create it you will also get the free you will also get the whole bonus course about the full introduction to surface modeling what is exactly g1 g2 g3 tangency continuity 
how to set up curves and faces in the correct way so if you patch them and love them you always get the perfect desired result and then all of this knowledge that you always will need for every surface modeling project that you will start in your life we will use that theoretical knowledge that we of course uh, strengthen up with some exercises and practices into this helmet design here and you will learn as an absolute level zero complete beginner how you can create that and here dozens and dozens and dozens of people invested already in their skills through buying this course and saved like months of going through my hundred free tutorials on YouTube. And yeah, so if you want to learn surface modeling, everything in one place, I can definitely recommend you my surface modeling courses. If you want to save even more money and time, I also have some amazing bundles. So first link in the description. And if you're not interested, just leave me a like for this video and subscribe so you don't miss my free tutorials. Have a nice day. Bye.